So they take the snail out, yeah, put some pork with it, mm -hmm. and then put it back in. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Travel to Vietnam's highlands here to the city of Dalat, courtesy of One Trip Tours. And let me tell you, in these next four videos, you are gonna see food like you have never seen before. Dalat is where Vietnamese come to cool down. They call it Little Paris, and I'm here to find the most unique food this place has to offer. I'm talking racing a pot of chicken to a dinner table. This chicken is cooking like right there in the beer. I'm talking taking my first drink of coffee made from weasel sh A lot of coffee beans here. Whose job is it to clean the poop off of these? I'm talking spending time with one of Vietnam's amazing ethnic tribes. I've never seen any kind of food preparation like this. So be sure to subscribe to this channel to catch every episode. Today we're hunting down the foods most unique to central Vietnam with my one trip guide, Jump. Good morning, besties. Today is all about must try Dalat food, starting with some breakfast. Let's do this. A popular breakfast spot for locals and travelers alike, but there's a spicy twist. We are at this epic banh mi shop here in Dalat. This one is so famous in Ta, and you will use the meatball to eat with the bread. Oh. Yeah. I've never had that before. It smells amazing. Savory, mm. sweet fumes of meatball-y goodness. I can't wait to try it. No, no cucumber for me. We start with three little bowls. One meatball per bowl per person. That is a nice meatball. Oh, that's gonna be spicy. <laughs> You're from Dalat. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about what makes Dalat so special? Dalat is famous for about delicious food, street food, and beautiful flowers. It's cool, but I can't eat flowers. He's stacking on a pile of banh mi. Are those for us? Three bowls. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know it's just me and you eating, right? Yeah. So we're gonna bust off a piece. Yeah. We're breaking bread. You dip it into the bowl. All this is pretty easy to follow so far. And just eat. One of the most intimidating but most easy foods to eat. You dip and eat. Yeah. Mmm, that broth is almost sweet and salty at the same time. What is in there? These sweet and salty meatballs are the perfect way to start the day. The fattiness from the meatball itself is giving the broth some sweetness. It's really tremendous. Is this a normal breakfast for you? Yes, yeah. people in that lab love this breakfast. How long have they been here? 30 years. So even before I was born, mm -hmm. they've been here. Honestly, I thought this was too much at first, but once you start dipping it and putting in a little bit of that soft meatball and, and dipping it with the broth, the food just disappears very quickly, and then you wonder what happened to it. Mmm. Next up, two classic Vietnamese meats that you wouldn't expect to see together. Right here, we're at location two, and they're busy making the specialty that you're showing yeah. me today. What is happening here? That's a huge snail. Is it a freshwater or a sea snail? The fresh water. They're putting actual like ground pork mm -hmm. into the snail. Yeah. And then they're gonna steam and it. And they steam it. Yeah. Whoa! I've never seen anything like this. But I don't understand. They they've taken the snail out here. Yeah. And then they mix it with the pork and the lemon grass. And then they put it back in. Yeah. So they take the snail out. Yeah. Put some pork with it mm -hmm. and then put it back in. Yeah. Awesome. I am like ngon hong. Ngon hong. Very good. Yeah. It's very good, guys. All right, that's all I needed to hear. Uh, let's do it. Let's steam it up. We have these huge freshwater snails. They've stuck some pork inside, some lemongrass, yeah. and take it away. Actually, it's your first time too, right? Yeah. What is the method here, though? What do we do? Do we just grab it with our hands? Yeah. I love that. Be it's careful. steam it. You just like take it, uh -huh. and then you pull it. Like this. You dislodge the pork and the snail. No. Oh, dip it. You eat the grass too? No. You like slingshot it into your mouth? Nail it. Mmm, delicious. 
Whoa. This is one of the best snail concoctions I've ever had. The pork is perfectly cooked. It's well seasoned. It's a little bit sweet. It's, it tastes yeah. like a little bit of fish sauce in there with the snail. What's great is sometimes eating snails can be kind of a pain because you have to like take off the front shell. You have to like fish it out. There's like the poopy part in there. They remove that hard part. They put in the minced pork. You just pull it out super easily. Dip it in some fish sauce. It's like a big bite of meat. You've got the tender pork and a chewy yeah. snail all together. Every five clams, eat one herb. Do you like it? Yeah, the first time I take it and mm. I really like it. I can't stop. Mm -hmm. Like it's so easy to eat. You can just throw them back so easily. So where are we oh. going next after this one? Bánh nước lòng gà. Sounds great to me. Let's do that next. Our third location combines chewy steamed rice cake with chicken intestine and a variety of unique add-ons, including unlaid chicken eggs. Here we are, location three. We're getting some steamed rice cake and some chicken intestine. Look at that. Unlaid eggs and they're all these different sizes. There's big ones, there's little ones back there, yeah. but all these little yellow ones are unlaid eggs. I don't think I've shown you unlaid eggs yet. Mm -hmm. uh, it is exactly what it sounds like. It is an egg that has not yet been plooped out of the chicken. <laughs> What's amazing about it is it's yellow. It's almost like a scrambled egg but in ball form. There's no like yolk and white part that's separated. It's all one consistency and this little yellow ball. So yummy. Would you guys ever try an unlaid egg? Oh yes. Up? Look at that. It yes. looks great. I, I thought this was just chicken intestines and steamed rice cake, but it is so much more than that. We also yeah. have this crispy rice cakey stuff and then unlaid eggs. On top of that, what is this? This is a pork heart. Oh, that's a pork heart. And what is this? And the tongue. Tongue, and this is a chicken tongue. No, no, the pork. A oh, pork tongue? Yeah. A pig tongue. We got like every body part. They just went to a farm, they threw a bunch of animals into mm -hmm. a blender, and then this is the result right here. No offense. Should we get started? What do you do first? I will miss it. Oh, I hate mixing. It's so beautiful right now. Let's try some heart. You think this is really a pig heart? Yeah, so let's try. Mmm. Mm. That's tremendous. I love organ meats. Really dense, firm. But you know what I, I can taste? Mm -hmm. This pig had a broken heart. So you like intestines? Yes. Okay, let's try it. Good. I like Good, it. Right? Honestly, I think you gotta mix up all these awesome textures because you got this mushy rice cake. It's soaking up some of that fish sauce. We're gonna put it all together. I'm blown away a little bit. This tastes awesome. The fish sauce is not too strong. It's a little bit more light, not super salty. And that steamed rice cake. Look, I've had plenty of steamed rice cake. I've had like the bangkun, but this is so, so mushy and so soft. It's like doughy almost. Let's try unlaid egg. Mmm. Sure. It's good. It's amazing because I've had a developed duck egg. It would be laid and then maybe 18 days later they mm -hmm. would eat it. But this egg is more like negative four days old. It doesn't even have a birthday yet. It's negative days yeah. old. But hey, little buddy, huh? you taste great to me. Our final street side stall is cranking out over 1,000 of these bite sized tasty treats a day. Oh, is this? Oh, it's open. <laughs> I almost put my hand into those quail eggs. There is about 1,000 quail eggs in here. I don't know whose job it is to crack 1,000 tiny quail eggs. That sounds tough, but also a little fun. Maybe like a, a good job for a little kid. Whose job is it to crack all these eggs? Oh, her family do this. Her family? Yeah. Is there a special machine? Just by hand. Just by hand? Yeah. This place is selling thousands of these over the weekend. That's crazy. Bankan are made with rice flour and a chicken egg or a quail egg. She's gonna make like a dozen of these at least at one time. Now I've had something like bankan. Bankan, right? Bankan, yeah. yeah. It's different. In Bangkok, you can put some shrimp, but in Dallas, just eat. This meal is not complete without the dipping sauce. And their unique sauce is made with fish sauce, peanuts, stir-fried scallion, mango, and Vietnamese meatball. Which one do you like more? Do you like a scrambled chicken egg or a quail egg? I like the quail egg more. Well, I can't wait to try it out. We're just gonna give it a dip? Yeah, just dip it. And then eat it up, let's do it. Mmm. Oh. That is the best thing we've had today. This sauce is so sweet and peanutty. I didn't know this is like, there's some peanut flavor in this sauce. This is like half dessert for me. The cake part is spot on. That is tremendous. Great squishy texture, little eggy, little cakey, and it's like a little sponge. It soaks up that sauce straight away. You can mix it with some of the other ingredients in the bowl, and then bam. Mm. 
the quail is awesome. I want to see which is better, see if it's really better than the chicken. We've got kind of a scrambled egg here. Let's try it out. Mm -hmm. Wow, I can't believe I've not tried this until now. It's really yummy. Uh, yeah. Which one do you like more? I probably like the quail egg a little bit more. It has some more better texture. This one's a little too mushy maybe, but I like them both. I think all these flavors together are great. It wouldn't work without this dipping sauce. You need the fish sauce. How many of these do you think you could eat in uh, one meal? I can eat like 10. That would be a good challenge sometime. I'll make you guys proud, and I totally won't cheat by throwing them under the table. Jump. Yep. Thank you so much. This was a lot of fun. I learned a lot about all this really unique Galat food. I had no idea the city had so much unique food that was its own. I've had a lot of Central Vietnamese food already, but coming to Delat and seeing Delat's own unique spin on the food was really a treat for me, so thank you so much. Yeah, it's my pleasure. This video was made possible by Vietnam's highest rated tour company, One Trip. Whether it's food tours, adventure tours, or village tours, One Trip is the best way to experience the real Vietnam. Thank you so much for watching. Throw a like if you liked the video, and we will see you next time. Yeah, you can turn me